Hey guys, and specifically Nirmal. I couldn't get the Resurrection Remix ROM to work on the S4, but it worked on the S5. So let's take a look anyway. So I wanted to show you the setup wizard. As you can see, I am going through quickly because there is something special for the S5 over here. So as you can see, it isn't in CM13 as of now you can set your fingerprint and that is a big plus in my opinion now as you can see it doesn't work right away you have to put in your pin that you set one time and then it will sh for sure work first impressions it is very fluid the resurrection remix rom is clearly the fastest rom that i have used on the s5 and as you can see the dual paginated notification panel that's nice and it also has an auto brightness toggle that is not present in the CEM and as you can see I'm not fooling around it is actually 6.0.1 marshmallow that is as I'm showing you the easter egg over here the recent apps are also very smooth and there is the multi window mode as I'm demonstrating over here through a screen record and they work flawlessly and also Fluidity is the word I would use to describe this ROM. As you can see, as me scrolling through different apps, and the now on tap also works. But the special feature about the Resurrection Remix ROM is the configuration tab. It has a lot of options to customize your lock screen and your wallpapers, as you can see over here, and your notification panel. You can set a battery bar and different things that you just can't do on the CM. There are so many options and there is an option for every aspect of the user interface to stylize according to your specific needs. And lock screen blur is a really nice one as you could see over there. And basically it is a fully customizable stock Android ROM that is really nice and you can even set the recent apps bar to show the delete all button i mean the clear all button on the top center like that level of customization you can't get with any other rom right now it supports theme and it also comes with a kernel auditor by default so that is awesome now you should get this rom if you can't just wait for the stock marshmallow and it is pretty good Resurrection Remix ROM does work well on the S5 and if it uh, works someday on the S4, it will uh, be the same except for the fingerprint scanner of course that it doesn't support but this is a pretty good ROM, I give it a 9 out of 10 that's where it lies, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace and have fun.